we tend to sometimes we tend to panic. So I'm not really sure how we well, uh, and I think we should manage all of this. The, the place to start are a couple of places, and I think one of the things that makes this this um, is that uh, this is a global stressor. So right. it, that may, means that it is something we're all experiencing to some degree, but it also means something that if you're not careful, you can't take a break from. Right. Because one of the things we talk about as, as therapists is how to, to manage stress, and a big part of that is the ability to be able to step away from it, to give yourself uh, a break and to self-care. Right. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's um, um, if, if, if it is ubiquitous, if it is everywhere, like even we were talking about coming in today, I, I was able to find a really good parking spot out here when normally I got to park, you know. Right. That and is, that's because, that you know, that, that there are signs everywhere that something's a little different. And mm -hmm. I think the number one thing, and I've, I've seen a number of folks say this, the first step is to, uh, to take a break from the news. Yeah. Let's, uh, that is a that, um, that's good advice. I'd actually heard that earlier, but not many people on the news are telling you to stay <laughs> away from yet. the news because uh, that's how they make their uh, their living. So that's kind of a that yeah. But we one way is to that's an obvious stressor because mm -hmm. look, news is really about telling you all the bad things. Mm -hmm. It's not about happy butterflies, sun shining, mm -hmm. flowers growing. It's none of that really. It's the horrors and the wrecks sell. and the terrible stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a, there's a was a book that was published quite a while ago, and the author actually gave a talk here in Columbus, and it's uh, uh, why zebras don't get ulcers. I think is the name of the uh, the, wow. the book. Interesting. And the the premise behind it, it's an interesting one is that you know that um, if you were a zebra or uh, uh, you are there is potential predation all around you, but you still have to find a way to you know hang out, do your thing, with the idea right. that at any moment you could be killed and eaten. And okay. you know, okay. we, we I see that. Yeah. So what happens is with with most animals is they have a um, they have a sudden spike in stress, and yep. it goes up, and then it goes down. Right. So suddenly you're being pursued by a lion. The lion stops. You go back to being okay. And contemporary society is built. We are built in a place where our um, our stressors aren't lions. Our right. stressors are taxes, and you mentioned four hundred one ks. There are all these things, and yeah. these are things we can't run from. And once we're safe, we can't necessarily relax. So we have to be able to impose whatever breaks we can. Sure, we have to be able to step away in a way, and we have to be cognizant and aware enough to do that. You know, the zebra is on autopilot, probably to this degree. They, there aren't too many Woody Allen esque zebras. Right, existential neurotic. dilemmas. <laughs> the neurotic zebra. Okay, there's a yeah, <laughs> there's a concept. Existential right, dilemmas go. don't loom for uh, for zebras. Probably we we don't know for sure, but they don't seem to fret in that no, sense. No, no. But so spike up, come back down, and, down to normal. Okay, I, we don't have that so much because we're inundated with and things. And probably ours looks news. more like <laughs> it grows and it stays. You know, and our our idea would be that we have to be self generate their a, a level of self reflection to for the possibility of self care how do we step away and and breathe you know what right. what do we do and we have to give ourselves permission to do that and have to be aware enough to do it so i think that's one of the first things 